It's 2024 and there are a lot of AI tools out there, but when it comes to skill retouching, no AI comes close to the retouch for me. There are a couple of reasons why this AI is the best when it comes to skill retouching. For one, you can use this directly inside of Photoshop. And two, if you're a busy photographer, you don't have time to edit, and you don't want to hire me to help you edit your image, then you need this AI plugin because it's going to save you a lot of time and also give you incredible results. And the good thing about this AI plugin is that you have varieties of options like the dodge and burn, the heal, the balance cleanup, the color match, and lots more. I'm going to show you how it works right now. So let's start with touching before we move to color grading and balance cleanup. So if I want to retouch this image, the first thing I'm going to do is to remove the blemishes. So instead of doing it manually, it takes a lot of time. I can just do it in one click. So all I have to do is just duplicate my background layer by pressing on Ctrl J and just come to my filter after I finish installing the plugin. And I'll be leaving the link where you can get it in the description below. All right, so come to retouch on me and just click on heal right here. So once I click on heal, this plugin will automatically remove my blemishes in just one click. And the result is amazing. I don't have to do anything manually. All I have to do is just click on it and it's going to do it for me. All right, so if I zoom in now, you are going to see it has removed the blemishes for me from this image. So take a look at the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. The before and the after. And with this sensitivity slider up here, you can choose the amount of blemishes you want to remove. So you can see as I'm dragging it, you can see the amount of blemishes it's removed. So you can take it all the way to 100 or you can just play with it and see which one works for you. So I think it works for me. Let's see. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. So for me, I'm going to click on make mask and just click on apply right here. So it has automatically removed the blemishes for us. Now that we've removed the blemishes, let's do the scale touch using micro dodge and bond. Now if you use micro dodge and bond, you know it takes a long time to actually do micro dodge and bond. It may take about 30 minutes or an hour to do micro dodge and bond. But with the retouch on me, it just one click. We are going to get amazing results using micro dodge and bond. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift button it's E. And just come to my filter again. Click on retouch on me and click on dodge and burn right here. So it's just going to load. Now you can see it has automatically retouched this image for us. So see the before and the after. Just take a look at the image. All right. See the before and the after. And also from this blend, you can choose to add more dodge and burn if you want by taking this ladder up like this. So if you take it all the way up, it's going to do more micro dodge and burn for you. So just take a look at the image, the before. And the after and from here you can choose to move this worms right here to just add worms to the dodge and burn so this is the before and this is the after pretty amazing so what i'm going to do from here i will take it all the way down a little bit to so about 177 and make sure your soft light layer is selected and just click on apply and what i'm going to do from here just come to your blend mode change from normal to soft lights and we are good so this is the before and this is the after now let's you want to add depth to your image by doing global dodge and burn let me show you how you can do that using the retouch on me all you have to do is create another stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift alternate E and come back to your filter, click on retouch on me and click on portrait volume right here. And with the portrait volume, you can use it to add depth to your image. It's more like global dodge and burn. Let it just load so you can see the effect. All right. So see the before and the after, the before and the after. And also you can choose, you can move this blend option right here to just enhance the um, depth of the image. So if I just take it up, you're going to see the before and the after you can see the depth the before and the after so from here i'm going to click on apply i just change the blend mode from normal to soft light again and from here see the before and see the after but i feel it's looking too much i'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit to make it look natural so about 30 works for me so the before and the after the before and the after so i'm just going to group everything like this so you can see where we started from and where we are right now you can see how good this image is looking the before and the after the before and the after. You can see how good this image is looking. Now, if I show you how you can use this AI to color grade the image, let me quickly show you how you can use it to clean your backdrop. So let's come to this image right here. So if I want to clean this backdrop right here, you can see it's looking kind of rough and dirty. Now to clean it, all I have to do is first of all, duplicate my background layer by pressing on Ctrl J and come to filter, come to retouch on me and click on clean backdrop right here. All right, so it's just going to load and just clean the backdrop for us as you can see. So. This is the before and this is the after. Pretty amazing, right? See? The before and the after. And you have two options. You can choose this one or you can choose this medium depth. So if I just click on this medium depth, let's see what's going to happen. All right. So see the before and the after. You also have small depth like that. So I'm going to click on this depth right here. This large, this large depth. I'm going to click on it. And once that loads, I'm going to click on make mask because I might remove it for where I don't want it to affect. So I'm going to click on apply after clicking on mix mask and click on apply right now 
and just going to apply photoshop all right let's i want to remove it for some place all i have to do is just add a layer mask pick my normal brush tool and change the foreground to so black and maybe i want to remove it from this place i can just paint here to bring back those dead or just paint it to remove it from that particular place so i can choose to hide the effect and reveal the effect with this mask right here so this is how you can use the retouch on me to clean your backdrop inside of photoshop when it comes to color grading color grading can be difficult and confusing sometimes but with the retouch on me all you need is a reference image so when you have a reference image you just have to copy the colors from the reference image and paste it on your own image and the good part about this is that you have manual control over the adjustment of the colors let me show you how you can do it so let's i want to color grade this image i'll just come to filter again come to retouch on me I click on color match right here so for me all i have to do is just bring in my reference image so i'll come to this place i said load reference i'm going to click on it i just look for a reference image all right so let's say i want to use this image right here as a reference i'm just going to open it up all right so right now you can see it has copied the color but it's not looking really good so i'm going to take this um luminous and just take it down a little bit like this to bring back the original lightness of this my original color and just come to the color and just move it up a little bit like so so let's move it up a little bit and just take the smoothness and just move the smoothness up like so also come to this blend mode and take the blend mode down all right so this is the before and the after the before and the after as you can see it just one click we've copied the color of this reference image and paste it to this image right here and once you feel you're done you can just click on apply and the good thing about this is that you can actually create lots with this color right here so just click on export lots and it will automatically create lot for you so you can just rename this lot any name you want and you can actually apply it to your other images all right but i'm not going to do that i just want to show you how you can actually do that so from here just click on apply if you're happy with what you get just click on apply but i think i'm just going to bring this luminous up a little bit like so and just click on apply right here this is the before and the after the before and the after and if you are okay with the color grading it's okay but you can actually add more adjustment layer on top of the color grading and just work with it from there this is how i use the color match feature instead of without me it's really simple and truly really incredible and amazing to use now finally i have an action which will automatically help me retouch my image in just one click so after you get this retouch on me i'll be leaving the link where i get this action i want to play right now in the shop blue but for this action to work you need to have the retouch on me dodge and burn portrait volume vessel and heal so that's the four you need to have before this plugin can work successfully all right so i'm going to play the action right now so i'm going to press on ctrl j and just retouch this image in just one click so i come to my action just go all the way down and click on retouch on me right here and if you use the link in the description below you're going to get 20 percent off any purchase you make and i really recommend you get this plugin if you're a photographer or you're a retoucher and you're making money off photography because it's quite expensive all right all right you can see it has finished loading so take a look at this image see how good it is the before and the after the before and the after these are some of the amazing things you can do with this ai which makes it the best ai tools for skin retouching click here to watch more retouch for me tutorial i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative